London is my hometown. I've lived and worked here all my life. I am a proper South London girl, born and bred, and I will always be a very proud Londoner first. But unfortunately, it does have a bit of a grubby history. At the peak of the Industrial Revolution, London's air was thick with pollution, with dense black fog hanging over the city, giving it the nickname, the Big Smoke. When I was a child, I remember them scrubbing the soot off the Houses of Parliament, revealing this beautiful, gleaming, pale limestone hidden under layers and layers of filth. I genuinely thought it had been painted black before that. Thankfully, pollution levels here in London are now just 1 40th of what they were at their peak. Isn't that amazing? But globally, there is still a long way to go and a much quieter, much cleaner kind of revolution is helping us to get there. It's the EV, or electric vehicle revolution. And even London cabbies are getting in on the action. Although there are still challenges like limited charging infrastructure and high upfront costs. Can you take me South Bank? Certainly, no problem. Electric vehicle uptake is gaining momentum. In 2024, around a fifth of new vehicles sold globally were fully electric. And that's a huge leap, more than double what it was three years ago. What were you saying, Gary? Oh, I love having an electric vehicle, Hayne. See? So, finding ways to make EVs, electric vehicles, cheaper and more accessible is key to helping, well, all of us make the switch. And with that in mind, in Kenya, one company in particular is really blazing the trail. We call ourselves the Romas. We're like an army of nuds who just want to build amazing stuff. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. It wasn't. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. My name is Lumbi. I'm the technical product manager at Rome Electric. Rome's mission is quite simple. We want to electrify Africa one vehicle at a time. We are designing solutions that are meant for Africa, designed by Africans for Africans. 80% of Kenyans rely on motorcycles in one way or another. From the delivery of vegetables to your local market, some would use it as their commuter vehicles, others use it as their taxi to get to their workplace or to get to the nearest bus station. Despite being the easiest and cheapest way to get around, motorcycles are amongst the highest polluting vehicles. These bikes are being used in the slum, so the air quality in the people who are most affected by it is extremely low, which is where electric motorcycles come into play. The room air is our motorcycle solution for people who require a motorcycle for their everyday needs. It's a very comfortable bike, built to be able to withstand varying environments, varying terrains. You can go on tarmac roads, you can go a bit of off-road, you can be in the hottest areas in Africa or also be the coldest areas of Africa. It's been designed to be as utilitarian as possible, very functional. It's economical and it's environmental friendly. They are efficient and they are the future. It does look cool as well. Rome bikes are not only versatile. Like most electric vehicles, they're also cheaper to run than your average petrol or diesel. The bikes are powered by two batteries and when fully charged, they can travel for around 180 kilometers. Because electricity is cheaper than petrol, Rome estimates riders can cut their running costs by around 75%. That is a game changer for so many people. It means your standards of living are high. It means you can afford healthcare, you can afford school fees. It completely changes the narrative of what an EV can do. 
basically taking the solution to the people who actually need it. To help make charging accessible, Lumbi and the team developed Roam Hubs. Many people live in apartment blocks, they live in rural areas, they live in slums, so they want to be able to have the freedom to choose where they charge. Just like a typical fuel station, the hubs allow riders to drop in and charge their batteries or rent a spare to go. At the moment, we have five Rome hubs and 10 more planned along the way for the course of the year. To me, 2024 is quite exciting. It's quite an important year. We proved the tech. The market loves the product. And everything we're doing is breaking the barrier of what engineering looks like in Africa. Since joining the Earthshot community, Rome have helped prevent hundreds of tons of CO2 emissions from going into the atmosphere. And with plans to scale production to over 50,000 bikes per year, they're taking great strides in revolutionizing African transport. We are literally bordered by the national park on one side and the city on the other side. It's quite representative of the exact work that we do, bridging the gap between nature and how to develop sustainably into the future. Rome is a team of young and talented professionals. We are a team of people who believe in designing the best that can come out of Africa. Kenyan ingenuity to me is the ability of us engineers to be able to be part of the development of our own products. Back at the very beginning of our development phases, we used to have 10, 20 bikes on the road. I knew each and every rider who was on our bike. I'd just see their helmet or the way they are dressed and just wave at them. Now, I'm waving at people and they're like, who are you? But I'm still so happy to see each and every one of them. We are building Africa one vehicle at a time. The more players and the more hands we can hold along the way, the better. Africa now has the fastest growing cities in the world. Incredible people like Lumbi and the team are helping these cities to clean their air as they grow.